real thing with blows that should have killed them, but they rose again. I wish to leave immediately to retrieve our princess. You will be stripped of your rank. As general, yes. Just come on back. Where are you going, McDonald's? Oh yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. All right. Great surprise, bro. Large. Get. Yeah, they have given everything. Let me die, saving my country and that throne. Yaxin Lama. Allow me to make this right. I do not know what my end up. Perhaps we are being hurt too hasty. Bro. Yeah. She raised a spear against her own husband for Wakan. Right, Where is her treacherous husband now? I'm, I'm put there a place here. where she can visit if she wished mine? You all right? It's with the ancestors. I am queen <coughs> of the most powerful nation in the world, and my entire family is gone. Have I not given everything? Woohoo! This is deep. We'll put it on pause, Udi. Put on pause. Okay. Don't be mad. Share the cut off on Jerry. You're not on my All right, today. So, um, I am. I'm amazed. Not because of what God has allowed me to due to this base that I'm about to show you. I'm just amazed because I am, I don't know. It, it takes a lot for me to put this base in my hand. So I'm about to show you the base. All right, so here it is. Live and living color. People like, oh, that's just a fit. Turn this heat down. People like, live and oh, that's just a friend of jazz, man. He's a friend of gad. I said friend of gad. He's a friend of jazz cat anyway, man. So it's it's cool with him. All right, it looks like one until you see this, and that changes the whole vibe. All. Anybody who's seen that bridge knows that's not a Fender Jazz. Unless somebody put one on a Fender Jazz. Anybody seen a neck look like this know it's not a Fender Jazz. What, what would they say it is? We keep going, and there it is. Right. So, a lot of people are like, you're not a fan of bass mods, are you? I was like, it's not that I'm not a fan. It's just, just not my cup of tea. Until this one came in. Now, the wood combinations on this base is really, really good. Roasted maple, maple on maple. It looks like more ash, ash on maple. Um, it came in, it didn't look like this. Of course, you already know, it already been through the Hobo Depot and it's been, it's been touched. <laughs> I don't know if I'm an angel or not, but to some people I am, but it's been touched. All right, so the main, when it came in, it didn't have no booty. And it didn't have, it didn't have the texture of a jazz. Um, it came in with different kind of pickups. So in my mind, the customer asked me, said, you know, do what you think is you, you like. You know, I like a lot of things, but this one I used as a experimental that's it, right? Experimental. I use this one as experimental. I so I use I put a the preamp that was in it was acting up. It was killing batteries. It was doing all kinds of stuff. It was just it was a base mod preamp in it, and it wasn't acting. She wasn't acting correctly. So I took that out. Of course, you know what I put in it. It's got a tone monster, volume, blend, treble, and then bass. No mids because basically. This base is full of mids, all right? 
You got to understand how Miz work and how your base reacts to Miz. So this one has a lot of Miz in it, first of all. I kept thinking. I could put a pre-up in it with Miz in it, stack Miz, and then stack base in trouble. But I was like, mm-mm. The base already has a lot of Miz from what I can very little what from what the very little what the very little I can hear. It already had stack stuff. I already had lots of Miz. So I put the, the standard um pre up in it, uh SC, SEB. This is a SEB. I had a pig worker has on. So it's a standard SEB somewhere. Um so it has like I said, volume, blend, treble, and bass. Which is all you particularly really need with a bassist kind. Alright, so what pickups do you put in? That's where that's where spirit where the spirit told me. I wanted to go a different route than everybody goes. Everybody puts in Bart's, everybody puts in Aggies, everybody puts in, you know, I don't know what, Delano's. That's the that's mostly the mains I see come in here. And trust me, I'm a Delano guy. Um, but this one has something different. This bass is so cool that I will actually own this bass. That's a, that's saying a lot for a lot of you cats who know me. I will actually own this bass. Why? Because I put Lindy Fraylins in it. These are Lindy Fraylins. A lot of people are like, Lindy Fraylins in a bass mod? All right. That's right. You hear me? All right, so, so we're going to tune it up. That's the first thing we do. Um, I got SIT strings on it, and I'm excited. I, I, I'm really excited. Why Why am I excited? I, I'm just excited. It's just, I don't know. It's just one of those one of those moments I feel excited. I'm, I'm excited because... I really like the tone of this bass. And a lot of people go like, well, why do you like the tone of this bass? Uh, basically because, to me, it sounds like a true jazz. And, you know, for me, if I'm going to get a jazz bass, I want a jazz bass to sound like a jazz bass, not like a head cutter or, or, a, bot or a, a, a heart stopper, you know. I wanted to be able to do all those things, but sound like a jazz bass in natural setting. A lot of you get that when the time comes. All right, so I'm coming through my SWR. Uh-oh, SWR LA-12. It ain't got no hone in it. No hone in it. All right, so <laughs> that was funny to me. All right, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and turn her around. Because she said way, way back there in the corner. But not too far way, way back. So we're going to plug this in. And we're going to go through. Now this is 18 volts though. That's one thing. That's one thing. She's got a lot of booty. But she got 18 volts. And we're going to go through it. We're going to bring the camera down a little bit. So you can see what's going on. You need to see the bass, not the camera. I mean, not me. All right. So basically, we're going to turn we're gonna turn everything off. Not off, but back. And we're going to just straight rear pickup. Listen that. I want you to listen to the characteristics of this bass. Listen to the E. Listen to the B. That's piano. That's all bass. That's nothing added into it. That's what you need to hear. When you go to a jazz bass, you need to hear piano. You need to hear the characteristics of the inner workings of that bass, and that wood. All that needs to come out in one hit. You need to hear it. Plus, it's set low. I mean, but listen how it's talking, and nothing is on. Listen how it's talking. Woo! Let's go to front pickup. Yes, Lord. 
You hear that? That sounds like a true, natural sounding P. Everything is still crystal clear. There's nothing on. Everything is still crystal clear. Both pickups. That sounds like a jazz to me, like an old vintage jazz. Check it out. Now, what you hear is bass and mids. Natural mids. Natural mids coming out of the body of the bass and the neck. That's natural mids and, and a detent of bass. Hmm. Now, let's put a little sizzle. Let's carry the detent and put some sizzle on it. Thank <laughs> you. 
right? And no trouble. That's what you listening for. You hear the Miz now? You hear him? That's, that's a pure mixture of Miz and bass. That's a pure mixture. There's no Miz control on this bass, but the body is telling you, I got this stuff. You just got to gas. You just got to ask for it. you hear your mids with a mixture of bass. You got to learn your body, guys. You got to learn what your body would do. If your body don't sound anything like this, then you got an issue with mids. And that's why a lot of people throw high-end mids and high-end high preamps in your basses because if your bass ain't got the mids, they got to go and find it and make it synthetic. This one already got mids. This is good. This could be a keeper for me. She talks, she talks just like an old Fender Jazz. She talks just like one. And anybody know Fender Jazz, that would be me. Because I love them. It ain't, it ain't synthetic, it's real. Got a little bit of glass on the top. You know what I mean? It sounds to me, it sounds like a Fender Jazz with a bad at, a bad butt bridge on it. I was getting ready to say that cuss word. A bad butt bridge on it. That's what this bass sounds like with no trouble, just mids on the other body, and then a, a bass at detent. All right? So the bass is at detent right now. And that's what it sounds like a real Fender Jazz. Beautiful bass, beautiful bass, great wood combination. Actually, the best one I ever heard, I ever had come through here, and probably the best one I heard so far. Um, and I, I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm gonna pull this up a little bit. There we go, messing with the camera. Arrgh. All right, so I would say that this this is probably the best bass mod that came through the Hobo Depot. This will be a keeper for me. This is a beautiful, this is a beautiful sounding bass. Beautiful sounding. You know, natural, natural, flame, maple top. You know, it is, I don't think it's a true flame, but um, but it's a beautiful, beautiful bass. It's just a beautiful sounding bass. And that's what I go for. I go for the sound. You can have a bass that look like been drugged through the dirt and through the weeds and, and through the cotton fields for like 15,000 times. <laughs> look. But that bass still sounds amazing when you put it out, when you when you plug it in. That bass always sounds amazing. And that's what you want, folks. You want your bass to always sound amazing no matter what. So once again, guys, keep keep praying for the Hobo Depot, praying for the Queen and I. We pray for y'all every morning. Listen, I don't miss a morning. I can't afford to miss a morning of prayer. I cannot afford it. Listen to what I'm saying. I cannot afford to miss not one morning of prayer. I can't. Even during the day. I pray, but in the morning, I cannot, I cannot afford to miss one morning. That could be the lives of my family that, that, and, then, and then the lives of your family, you know? So I, I just stay prayed up as much as I can. 
I want to thank the customer who brought this this beautiful base mod in to me. Let me do my you know my thing on it or try some stuff on it, which I thought it sounds amazing. Thank you, God. Um, and uh, I, I want to thank you guys for sharing, for liking. Some guy came on and said, "Hey man, we need to get this thing up to a hundred, uh, you know, a million views." Or I don't know. Listen, if just you guys keep viewing what I put out, I'm just appreciative from the bottom of my heart. And, and who says the same thing? Yeah. <laughs> you get mad when I do that. I know I'm gonna turn the movie back on, man. Go. Look, 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 look. <laughs> he mad. <laughs> All right, so, so once again, guys, thanks for coming by the uh, Hobo Depot, Shadokata. All right, I'm going to turn your move back on, man. Boy, you, you, you should know this move by heart right now because this is, this is amazing. You should know every word, every line. You should know everything they say, everything oh, they don't say. Oh, boy.